Welcome to Retro Rumble, a new Yu-Gi-Oh! series where we duel with the recently re-released Yu-Gi-Oh! Retro Pack. It's full of all the best cards from Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Golden Age, complete with the iconic anime monsters and powerful staples of all different rarities. Every week, we'll each open a new Retro Pack mini box that's four packs and use the cards inside to craft our own decks. That also means our decks will get stronger every week, from awkward strategies to custom-built powerhouses. The first duel to take five rounds is the winner. All right, guys, time to bust open my packs of the Retro Pack and get ready for this rumble. All right, four packs, let's get it started. So we have the Toon Summon Skull, but you need a Toon World to play it. Nimble Momonga, a very good floater. Sonic Bird, a Ritual Searcher. Shining Angel, Light Support Floater. Swords of Revealing Light, I can stall with this, I like that. Hane Hane, or Hain Hain as I call them. Great card, Seven Tools of the Bandit, a good counter trap, and Gravekeeper Servant if you hate you and your opponent. Oh wait, I missed the Elegant Egotist. I didn't feel two cards there. But Harpy Support, but no Harpies in this pack. Now, Supers and Up are not guaranteed in these packs, so let's see how many we can get. We have Giant Germ. Gaia Power, Sonic Bird again, Giant Rat, Earth Floater, Lord of D, we gotta get his, uh, he need to get his flute, <laughs> Armed Ninja, Polymerization, Mask of Darkness, love this card, Gaia the Fierce Knight, uh, he's a little weak for two tributes, but he might, he might do for this, uh, for this series. Toon Mermaid, Manga Ryuran, okay, at this point I feel like I need Toon World, uh, Toon Summon Skull, my god. Uh, Flying Kamakiri, good wind floater. The Dark Magician as my ultra rare. I, I feel like I would have rather something else for an ultra, but this will now easily take my uh, two tribute spot. We have Flame Swordsman, Baby Dragon, Polymerization, Elegant Egotist. All right, I've got two polys already, so I just need to get something worth making. We have Shosan. Mother Grizzly, good water floater. Toon World, we got the Toon World, so I guess I'll try and use it. <laughs> Giant Rat, Summon Skull. This is gonna be my one tribute for sure. I mean, there's nothing else you can, this is the best one. Armed Ninja, Giant Soldier of Stone, good wall. Cannon Soldier, good for getting effect damage. And then Gaia, though, I'm sorry Gaia, I just don't see how you're gonna get played here. Okay, time to rip into the Retro Pack. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. We're gonna be cracking open four packs of this, uh, or a total of eight. Although in new episodes, I guess it'll just be four more. So eight so that we get a strong foundation for our deck so we can kind of decide on their direction. And then four more in, every episode after. All right, a retro pack. Here goes nothing. Starting off, we got Mystical Space Typhoon. Oh, I like this, a very good start. So spell and trap removal is very crucial in these sorts of duels. A lot of packs will not have spell trap removal, so it's good to have some. UFO Turtle, one of the Elemental Searchers. Shining Angel, another one. Giant Trunade, awesome. More spell trap removal. Fissure, destroy the face-up monster your opponent controls with the lowest attack can be a somewhat unreliable form of removal because you never know like when your opponent will have something strong in the field versus weak. Magic Jammer, decent little spell negation. Hane Hane, always one of my favorites. Bounce a card at the hand, you can set your opponent back a turn or even two. Seven Tools of the Bandit and Gravekeeper Servant. Alec used this card in a recent theme duel, it pissed me off. So hopefully he doesn't use it again, I don't like that card. All right. Next pack is Umairuka. This is all the water monsters that gain 500 attack. And lose 400 defense. Mystical Space Typhoon again. Gaia Power. Mother Grizzly, if you want to do water. Barrel Dragon. Interesting, I didn't know that was in here. Toss a coin three times, or two out of the results are heads. You get to destroy a monster your opponent controls. They did not update these cards with problem solving card decks either, it seems. So, kind of interesting. Elegant Egotist. This could actually be pretty cool if. Throughout the course of the series, somebody was to pull like multiple harpy ladies, they could actually probably use like an elegant ego to strategy. Arm Ninja, destroy a spell in the field. Polymerization, actually a really huge deal because in a lot of these sealed uh, series, we'll get fusion monsters, but we won't have polymerization. So this seems like it'll be not so bad, so they're common, pretty easy to get. 
and Mask of Darkness for recovering a trap card. Ooh, Upstart Goblin? Not bad, a good start. Toon World, oh, I never liked Toon World, but it did come with the Toon Mermaid. Mother Grizzly again. Karibo! Hmm. During your opponent's battle phase, you can discard this card to reduce the battle damage inflicted to your opponents to zero. Inflicted to your life points to zero. I saw like a, an interesting, like a uh, foreword from Konami, or from Kazuki Takahashi in one of the early like Yu-Gi-Oh manga, where he said that Karibo was one of his top 10 favorite cards he's designed, but it was actually meant to look kind of creepy and unnerving. And I think they've since changed Karibo's appear appearance in newer cards to make it look not as creepy, but definitely looks pretty creepy in its early art. Guy the Fierce Knight, Flame Swordsman, and Baby Dragon, and another polymerization. So yes, very easy to get your polymerizations. My question is, is Thousand Dragon in this set? Like, can you use Baby Dragon and Time Wizard and actually make that? Would I want to do that? No, but you know, if I could, it'd be cool. Send you the Thousand Hands. So if you get rituals, that works out. Giant Germ, Luminous Spark, Sonic Bird. Ooh, Ultra, oh God. I got an Ultra Rare, but it's like not good at all. It's Gate Guardian. Uh, can only be special summoned by tributing Sangha, Kazujin, and Suijin. So a pretty useless Ultra, but... Mm, who knows? I mean, maybe <laughs> throughout the episodes, I can pull the individual pieces and run this in my deck. I'll do it if the video gets enough likes. All right, Elegant Egotist, Armed Ninja, and Giant Soldier of Stone. And also Cannon Soldier. This card is like banned, but not in this series. Actually, I don't think this card is banned. Because they ban other things. They banned like mass, like the, the cannon spell card, but they haven't banned Cannon Soldier, I believe. All right, pack number two, or box number two. Four more packs. What other retro goodness will we pull? We have Sonic Bird, so we can search all our rituals. Mystic Tomato, one of the best searches in the game. Nimble Momonga, now we have two. Giant Rat, great. Relinquished, okay. I, if I could just get that ritual spell, that'd be perfect. Giant Soldier of Stone, Cannon Soldier, Curse of Dragon, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts. So I got Gaia and Curse of Dragon, so if I, get, if I do get the Dragon Champion, I, you know, I might actually run that. It wouldn't be the best idea, but I'll do it. We have Molten Destruction, UFO Turtle, Flying Kamakiri, number one, Giant Trunade, a very solid card, M Megamorph, good equip spell, Gravekeeper Servant, Cannon Soldier, Harpy Lady, Thousand Dragon, I haven't pulled Time Wizard, I did pull Baby Dragon though. Ooh, Upstart Goblin is a very decent draw card. Black Illusion Ritual, guys are running relinquished. That's happening. Uh, Hyozan Ryu, Mystic Tomato, Solemn Judgment? That's a negate? We're negating like that for like half my life points? Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that for sure. Uh, Gravekeeper Servant, Mask of Darkness, Magic Jammer, and Flame Swordsman. Yo, I like these packs. I can't lie. I like these packs. Molten Destruction. I think I pulled three of this. A Giant Rat. Chozan Ryu. Luminous Spark. Ooh, Graceful Charity. That's a good card. That's a very good card. Seven Tools of the Bandit. Man Your Bug. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon. Wow. If I could have just seen one more Thunder Dragon, then, you know, we could have made this. But yeah, so those are my packs. Let me see if I can get all my hollows and stuff out. And this is honestly not bad. A Relinquish we can actually use, Solemn Judgment, Sword of the Villain Light, Dark Magician, Summon Skull, and while this isn't really a hollow hollow, Graceful Charity is crazy. So yeah, this is gonna be a good time. I'm looking forward to the rest of this. Okay, down to our next, or last, depending on how you look at it, four packs. Okay, Toon Summon Skull, Black Illusion Ritual, another MST, nice, Mystic Tomato, Ooh, super rare Sangan. This is a good one. So this is a really good one to use with Mystic Tomato and it can search like a lot of things in the set so far. Very exciting, a good one. Guy of the Fierce Knight, Thunder Dragon, Giant Soldier of Stone, and Flame Swordsman. I also like that they use the old card printing style for these as much as possible. It still says copyright 2020 studio dice or whatever, but like, you know, it's kind of got the older borders and text style and stuff. 
Yozan Ryu, Toon Summon Skull, Gaia Power, Umaruga, Left Leg of the Forbidden One, Curse of Dragon, Magic Jammer, Jirai Gumo always comes up a lot in these, uh, these little draft duels we do for some reason, just because he's strong, 2200 attack, and Trap Hole. Another Shining Angel, Rising Air Current, UFO Turtle, another Upstart Goblin, ooh, Super Rare Monster Reborn. Did not know that Monster Reborn was in the set as a Super. I, mean, I guess I could have guessed that it was in the set. I'm surprised it's not an Ultra Rare. I like it. Black Pendant, Giant Soldier, Thunder Dragon, and Thousand Dragon is in fact in the set. Just as a common, because I would hate to also pull this as an Ultra. It's really not amazing. This Monster Reborn though. See, this and Sangin. Gonna make for some good duels. Mystical Space Typhoon, Senju, Giant Germ, Umaruka. <gasps> Wait, I didn't know there were secret rares in this. I thought that there weren't any. I thought it was just normal, like in Super and Ultra. Amazonist Chain Master. When it's destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, I can pay 1500 life points to look at my opponent's hand, select a monster card in it, and add that card to my hand. That's actually kind of insane. My use this against Merrick in the anime. I really had no idea that they were actually doing secrets in this. I just, for some reason, I thought it wasn't, that they weren't in here. Looks pretty damn cool. Hmm. I'll take it. Hane Hane, or Hane Hane. Mahavelo, this has done me some good in past videos. Flame Swordsman and a Man-Eater Bug. Okay, so had us in the first half, not gonna lie, but we definitely turned it around. Uh, two very good supers and a secret rare. I was not aware it was even in this set. I'm gonna have a lot of fun building with this. I already kind of have the ideas flowing in my head. And I just realized a lot of the best monsters in here are all summonable by the like giant rat, mystic tomato, you know, shining angels. This should be fun. All right, on to the deck building. I really wasn't mad at my loadout of tribute monsters. I mean, Summon Skull is clearly, you know, the guy as like the best tribute monster you can get your hands on. And yeah, Dark Magician isn't a blue eyes, but I really wasn't mad about it. I felt like Yugi, right now we don't have easy access to like spot removal for monsters. I mean, yes, Paul hit me with a Fisher, but we don't have too much of that. So committing to a two tribute monster does not feel that bad right now. I think as this series goes on, it's gonna feel worse and worse to commit to those two tribute monsters unless they actually do something. I was so thankful to get Jirai Gumo. This card shows up in all of our different draft series. You guys know if you watch them. 2200 attack is insane and so strong. And actually, if you use Gaia power, it's 27, which I did do. You can have your life points, which sounds scary and like could technically lose you the game, yes. But what you quickly realize is that like it's always getting to attack. And that much attack is just such a difference maker. And like, you can never die just by having your life points, so. All right, guys, you ready for the retro rumble? I'm ready to rumble. Oh, we rumbling. That's a retro Best rumble. Best two out of three retro cards only. All right, this first one's gonna probably be a little awkward. We don't have dice. We don't have dice. I can get them though. Let's roll it here for now. Yeah, well, let's use this. All right, I'm rolling for first. Three. You got three. I got five. All right, Paul, your choice. All right, so draw and you go first, right? Yeah. Like retro rules. I'm going first in Duelist. Two. Five four, cards in hand. I'm five. At it, I'm and crying. draw for I'm turn, and Duelist. I'm I'm gonna start by activating Thunder Dragon. I've only got one other Thunder Dragon, by the way, so. Oh, okay. What if you were to open both of them? That'd have been hilarious. Yeah. All right, we're gonna set one card face down on the field, set another card, and end my turn. Then I will draw for turn. I'm gonna normal summon my giant rat. I'll enter battle and attack your face down. You attacked UFO Turtle. Oh. It's destroyed, which means I can summon a fire monster from my deck. What fire monster do you have? With 1500 attack. Another UFO turtle! Oh, yeah. I don't know that there that is another sense. fire monster in this set, actually. That well, that's lame. I'll pass. I'll draw. I'll normal summon. My Mother Grizzly. Oh, we're just floating. It's gonna be a floaty duel duelist. Mother Grizzly's gonna attack your giant rat. 
So we're both destroyed and we're we both, both get to effects. summon monsters. Here we are, here we go. I'm getting another Mother Grizzly. And I'm getting my uh... Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts! Wait, you actually have something that's over 1400? I thought you only had a 1400. <laughs> well, no more attacking for me then. I'll end my turn. Draw for time. I, I do feel bad for the next one though. I'm gonna activate Gravekeeper Servant. And then I'll normal summon my Sonic Bird. And let's enter battle. Oh, you're not searching with its effect? I'm not searching with its effect. Okay. Let's have Sonic Bird attack your Mother Grizzly. I don't know if I have another Mother Grizzly target. Darn it. Okay, I don't have any more. Let's have Gazelle attack UFO Turtle. And this time I'll actually take some damage. Yeah. First damage of the series. First blood. I don't have another target. <laughs> I think I'm running like two of each of them, so. I'll end my turn. I draw. You're gonna have to set your move. <laughs> All right, draw for turn. You know what's better than one Sonic Bird? Two! Let's have Gazelle attack your face down. You attacked Giant Soldier <sighs> Stone, 2,000 defense. <sighs> okay, I'll pass there. I draw. Gotta get over 2,000, huh? Set a card face down and end my turn. All right, let's draw for turn. I'm gonna tribute my Sonic Bird for the Summon Skull. Summon Skull, attack your Giant Soldier. Giant Soldier's gone. Gazelle will attack your face now. Tell the Giant Soldier. Come on, man! And All right, so I'll It's pass. gonna die next turn, so. Draw for turn. I'll tribute my Giant Soldier for my Summon. Thunder Dragon. I have to send a card from the top of my deck to the graveyard thanks to Gravekeeper's Servant. Oh, this would've helped. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to see that go. Attack Gazelle. I'll take 100. Oh man, Hain Hain would've actually helped. <laughs> You're moved to the list. Draw for turn. Bounce back that Summon Skull. Summon Skull will attack Thunder Dragon. Gravekeeper's Servant. Wow. Setting one and passing. You draw for turn, duelist. Mm, I end my turn. All right, draw for turn. And my deck flip. may or may not be doing everything it, wants to right now. Flying Kamakiri. Flying Kamakiri number one. Kamakiri attacks at 1400 and Summon Skull attacks at 2500. I'll set one card phase down and I'll end my turn. I draw. Normal summon my Shining Angel. I'm gonna send two. Oh, my Barrel Dragon, that could have helped. <laughs> Why didn't I To attack Flying Kamakiri. He both have 1400, okay. Man, Barrel Dragon could have maybe saved and me. I'll activate the effect of Kamakiri. I am running out of Shining Angel, right? We're playing the Floating Wars. That's how it's gonna be for a little bit. We're getting the Kamakiri. I hate to have to do this, but just so I don't lose, Black Pendant on my Shining Angel. On oh, main gosh. Phase two. So how big is it? So it's 1900. Oh, I see what you're Set. doing. I need to survive your move. <laughs> Because otherwise, draw, oh, draw you might, time. you could like crash with flying Kamakiri, and I don't think I have another Shining Angel target. Oh, that's and they, fair. That I would oh, get game, and I just need to live. What will happen if I live? I mean, who knows, but I have to live, Duelist. You understand. Normal summon Giant Rat. Oh no. Oh, summon Skull attacks your Shining Angel. Well, you take 500 from Black Pendant. Oh yeah, that's right, it does burn. Now I have Kamakiri attack you for 1400. Yeah, I'll take them both, I lose. Yeah, we're up boys! Jeez. Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. This poor, I didn't expect anything from this guy. All I knew that it was a 1500 I could summon off of my, uh, my giant rat. I did not expect for it to be nearly as impactful as, as it has been. This guy swings over all the floaters. Uh, there's a real chance it stays in my deck next week. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a gazelle fan now. I'm really interested in seeing where spell and trap removal goes as our decks get stronger. Like right now, I don't think that either of us have enough good stuff to really make like MST and Giant Trunades super worth it, although I still kind of screwed up by holding my MST too long. But I want to see, you know, if as time goes on and we get maybe cards like Trap Hole and stuff like that, or even just more equipped spells, if something like a Giant Trunade or an MST suddenly becomes like a lot more imperative. I think it will. I'm taking the first move, Duelist. Fine. I gotta bring this one back for everybody watching at home. From the brink. Everybody rooting for me. I draw. I activate Thunder Dragon. Oh, wow. Thin this deck. Wow. What am I thinning it for? I don't really know. Like, there's not any specific thing I need. But do you ever want to draw a Thunder Dragon? True. A cool thing is that I realized if one was to get Polymerization and Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon and then three Thunder Dragons, you could use a Thunder Dragon, pitch it, get two of them, and now you have the materials you need for 20 the Thunder Dragon. Combo. That's 2800. That's so. a combo. I will set a card face down and another card face down and end my turn. Then I will draw. Sure. Normal summon Flying Kamakiri number one. 
Attack. It's Mother Grizzly. I'll activate Gravekeeper's Servant and pass. Okay, I just gotta pay to attack, huh? Yep. Well, you know, he's not, you're paying life points, just deck. I'm gonna tribute my Mother Grizzly for Thunder Dragon. I end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll set a monster face down and switch my comma carry to defense mode and pass. Draw to it. I'll normal summon Sangen. Sangen attack flying Kamakiri number one. Oh yeah, I gotta send a card. Monster Rebellion! Hey, let's go! It hurts! Okay. Well, I attack. You destroy my Kamakiri and Kamakiri will activate its effect. Oh my lord, I probably really could have used this Monster Reborn. We'll get another Kamakiri. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again now. It can't be something, okay, that's fine. Giant Soldier's fine. Yeah, we're gonna attack with the flying Kamakiri. Deal 200. 200. Effective Kamakiri. Get my Sonic mm. Bird. Your move duelist. That is the most depressed I've ever been by a Gravekeeper Servant. Normally it's kind of like, oh, whatever, Draw. like some card, but Monster Reborn. I want to use that. Let's activate Graceful Charity. You can gain a thousand life points because I'm using Upstart Goblin. A lot of draw power you got going on. And I got exactly what I need. Tribute my giant rat and my sonic bird for the Dark Magician. Dark Magician, attack Thunder Dragon. Pass. I'll draw. Right, we're gonna switch thing into defense mode. And we're gonna set a card face down. That'll end my turn. I'm going to activate my Gravekeeper Servant. Mm -hmm. Gonna set a monster face down, attack Sangin. So I get, since Sangin was destroyed, any monster with 1500 or less attack. My man eater bug. Disrespectful. I drew, oh, did you end your turn? I don't know. I did it in my okay. turn. Okay. You did? Yeah, I did. I drew all. I'll activate Fissure. Say goodbye, the dark magician. Lame. I'll set this card face down. You mean man eater bug? This card face down. You said Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. Flip summon arm ninja. Oh, okay. Effective arm ninja to destroy a spell or trap card in the field, and if it's face down and look at it, and only destroy it if it's a spell. Oh, we'll target, target this card. So it's magic jammer. Oh, which that's means a it real gets card. to stay set face down. All right, arm ninja will attack your face down. Man eater bug. Next yep. to 600 defense. It'll destroy your arm ninja, and, and you'll take, take 300. 300. Did anybody pull a trap hole or anything in this? Like, Do we have any trap cards? <laughs> you have two. I mean, I have Magic Jammer, which Set isn't one and really pass. cutting it right now. I draw. Screw it. I normal summon Cannon Soldier. Attack. Yeah, oh yeah, cards. it's in the top two. Giant Trune would have helped. Black Pendant too. Jesus. All right, you hit my Mystic Tomato. Its effect will activate to special summon a Dark with 1500 or less attack. We'll get Cannon Soldier. Main phase two, I'll use my Cannon Soldier and tribute my Man Eater Bug to deal 500. Set and pass, duelist. Draw for turn. Let's set a card face down. And let's activate Swords of Revealing Light. I'll pass. How about an Upstart Goblin? You want some life points? I would, actually I'll gladly take them. I, I will pay or give you a thousand to draw a one card for my deck. Let's use this. My Mystical Space Typhoon. Oh. I'll destroy Swords of Revealing Light. No, my swords. Activate Gaia Power, the field spell to give Earth Monsters 500 attack, but they lose 400 defense. That's a big swing, that's a big swing. Normal summon, Amazonist Chain Master. Attack the Cannon Soldier. Service. I'll send these good cards to the grave. 1,400 more get with out, this. Out. Oh yeah, 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 I forgot. It's gonna be really hard to actually fit. I had a trap <laughs> I forgot I had a trap hole. Wow, so he just over here said, is there, is there a trap I, I really thought I didn't have a <laughs> trap hole. I wish I didn't send it now. Your move, duelist. All right, draw for 10. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one, I can tell. Pass. We're really gonna have to. Normal summon, Jirai Gumo. Oh 2200 no! 2200 plus Gaia powers, 500 boost. Jirai Gumo attack for 27. Send the top two. Yep. I have to flip a coin. Oh yeah, you gotta flip the coin. If I get it wrong, I'll lose half my life. So you gotta points. call it before you click. I'm calling tails. Heads. Heads. So you called it wrong, so you gotta. Jeez, that hurts. <laughs> 2700. Wait, that to hurts you. too, though. <laughs> 2000 with Amazonist Chain Master. You know, a lot of good deck knowledge here, I gotta say. Yeah, you can totally see everything. Yeah, that's, 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 Cannon that's, Soldier that's, that's, that's for the finish. Nice. Mr. Tomato and Arm Ninja. All right, you got it. Yes! So I didn't want to have to run Gravekeeper Servant. Guys, I promise you, I'm not that guy. But when I picked out like 30 something cards out of, uh, to make my deck, I said, I need to reach 40. And I had three of these suckers. And I was like, you know what? At least until the next episode, I'm running my servants. And honestly, I'm glad I did. I, I dumped plenty of cards with this effect, and uh, I never drew them when I didn't need, when I didn't really want to. So this was this was fine. Uh, it's probably coming out next episode though.
I am so mad that my Monster Reborn got milled off the top of my deck from freaking Gravekeeper's Servant. This, so, like, I didn't really get to play it. Uh, it sucks. But, you know, between getting milled and getting negated and all that stuff, I, I do think over time this will become a very good card. And also because it's a super rare, it means that Alec has a very low chance of actually pulling it for himself. So hopefully while you die, you guys didn't get to really see it do anything this episode. In the future, in the future, this will be like my ace trump kind of comeback card. Now let's end this rumble. I'm going first, so I draw for turn. Let's normal summon my cannon soldier. You can tribute it to deal 500 to me? Nope. I have a bad feeling that's how one of these games and one of these episodes is going <laughs> to end two cards? with a cannon Pass. soldier. I draw a duelist. I'm going to normal summon my Amazonist chain master. Ooh, 1500? Solemn judgment. Are you serious? Paying half You're paying half points. your life points to stop my Amazon? Yeah. Set a card and pass to like, us. Uh, that could not be allowed. Drop it. <laughs> What's in that hand? I like, want to know. Was not, was not, we, we were not doing that. I'm just going to let you know that know was what not was, what he was doing. I would love to hear what was in the hand. Let's normal summon my flying Kamakiri. Equip my cannon soldier with Megamorph. Oh, its attack is double while your life points are lower than mine. Yes. Flying Kamakiri will attack you for 1400. And then cannon soldier will attack. So now that my life points are lower than yours, he's halved, I believe. So. Oh, I forgot. I thought he just didn't get a boost. Whoops, pass. Good. So now what is he, 700? Yeah, 700. Normal summon Mother Grizzly. We will attack the cannon soldier. Your move duelist. Draw for time. Let's normal summon Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. Ooh, $1,500, oh, such a pain. Gazelle will attack your Mother Grizzly. Mother Grizzly. And yeah, then my yeah. Kamakiri will attack your Mother Grizzly. Boom, and I don't have another target. Kamakiri effect. I really wish I had a third <laughs> Mother Grizzly. All right, Kamakiri attacks you directly. 2,300 to 3,300. Hey, it's a, it, this game this game's close. I'm going the distance. Okay. I'll pass. I draw. I set and pass. And I'll draw for turn. Gazelle will attack your face down. Giant Soldier of Stone. You will take 500 damage. I had a strong damage. feeling that's exactly what it was going to be, but I had to This I is good for see. dealing damage. Now I just need to get to my cannon soldier in a couple more turns, right? I can burn you out. Set one and pass. I draw. I activate Monster Reborn. Amazonist Chain Master is my target. Magic Jammer. Oh! That's negated. That's negated. Oh, you, you got <laughs> cards, huh? That's negated. <laughs> you got cards. I didn't know you had Magic Jammer. I mean, okay. It's a common. I think we both have Magic Jammer, probably. Oh, I really wanted that card, you know? I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. All right, then I'll draw for turn. Let's flip summon the arm ninja and activate his effect to target your face down. If I'm spell. so mad. This is MST. Wow. I was thinking about using that on Magic Jammer, but I was gonna like try wow. to wait until the last moment for like a Gravekeeper's thing or something or field spell. Oh, I should have just used that. Bro, you, I, I honestly so could not be happier because I'm activating Black Illusion Ritual. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna tribute my arm ninja to make Relinquished. Let's use Relinquished's effect. Oh, this is gonna hurt. To take control of the stone. Because that attacks. Am I even live through this? I don't know. It depends on what, what you got going on. Okay, well you attacked Sangin. So Sangin's gonna get a monster with 300 or less attack from my deck to my hand. I'm getting Giant Soldier of Stone. Gotcha. All right, then Flying Kamakiri attack you out to 1400. Karibo. <laughs> During your battle phase, discard this to reduce the battle damage to zero. I think it's only this battle damage, I believe. And Relinquish will attack for 1300. Puts me down to 1000. All right. I'm holding on, Duelist. I pass. Fissure. Say Not goodbye to Relinquished. Goodbye, my friend. Set and pass. Draw for turn. Set, pass. I will also set and pass. Activate my Gravekeeper Servant. Gazelle will attack your face down here. It's the Maneater Bug. Yep. I'll hit this face down card. You hit Soldier of Stone. Ooh, okay. That might have been a good call. All right, so I'll pass there. I'll draw. We'll set and pass. Will <laughs> draw for turn. This is nice and crazy. Activate Servant. Let's switch my Kamakiri to defense mode and Gazelle will attack this face now. It's armed ninja. I'll destroy a Gravekeeper Servant. Wow. All right, pass. Draw. Your move. 
draw. No, the final few turns. Switch Kamakiri, activate Gaia Power. Ooh. Yeah, my guy is gaining attack now. So Gazelle's gonna attack your face down here. That's Giant Soldier, darn it. And then Kamakiri will attack your face down here. My Shining Angel. Okay, we got the float off the Angel. Shining Angel it is. And I have to pass there. Draw. I'll set a card face down. Okay. I'll normal summon Cannon Soldier. I'm gonna distribute it to deal 500 to you. Oh, okay, get me closer to death. All right, I got you. Into your downwards. I'll switch this to defense. Your move. Draw for time. Unless I get really lucky, we'll see. Normal summon Cannon Soldier. Oh, <laughs> oh man, okay. I think that's, that, that, yeah. that's gonna be tough one way or another. I mean, you, you don't even have to attack me. Like. Well, I can only do, oh, I can yeah, distribute you both. Yeah, you can distribute everything. Yeah, I'll this. activate Cannon yeah. Soldier's effect. One, and then two. Yeah, good game. Good I had game. MST. Man, if I had MST like a turn earlier, I could have gotten rid of Gaia Power, but I don't think I would have been able to put up enough offense to stop Cannon Soldier anyway. Good game. Yeah, that was a, that was a good one. That well was a, played. That was tough. Solemn Judgment is broken in this format. I mean, counter traps are in general, but a counter trap that just says no to literally anything I want, and then comboing this off with Megamorph, ah, that was risky. So Amazonist Chainmaster is so good for so many reasons. This card's got 1500 attack, which is a big deal right now in this format in a world of like 1400 attack point floaters, it actually makes a difference. And also, if it gets destroyed by battle, I can look at Alex's hand. I hope to get a lot of use out of this card over the course of the series. Right now, I couldn't really because I didn't have Giant Rat, which can normally summon it, but that's a whole different thing. But still, I think as we get stronger monsters and more consistent decks, something like this will be a huge, huge difference maker. All right, so this is my deck. Right now, I imagine our decks look fairly similar. Except, I guess I pulled like- But you got Giant Rat and I didn't I get I, Giant Rat. I guess technically, rarity-wise, I pulled a little bit better, right? I mean, it depends on what you consider better because like I got Super Rare Monster Reborn and Secret Rare Amazonist Chainmaster and Super Sangin. Oh, that's true. But you got Swords like, Revealing Light. I got Relinquish, Dark, Dark Magician, Magician, Summon Skulls, Swords, Solemn Judgment. Judge oh no, yeah, you so definitely So I feel like beat. even though you yeah, know, you these two aren't amazing. These are hard Solemn to use. Is, Solemn and Summon really Skulls are good. It's crazy because even like Dark Magician, when these games get like defensive, mm -hmm. it just tribute summoning for a big thing actually makes a difference. Because right now we don't have too much easy spot removal. We're still relying on a lot of flip effects. So you did get Fisher, which I was mad about. I was like, oh yeah, my Yeah, Fisher gosh. makes a big difference. It's hard to use though, because like the moment you have two monsters, I'm now no longer getting the pick. Right. So that's the first episode, you guys, of Retro Rumble. Let us know what you guys think about it. Let me know if there are any rule changes or addendums maybe we can make. And let us know who do you think is going to be the Rumble champion. We're going to be doing this as a first to five. So. Um, boy is already up one. Alec is up one, but that doesn't mean I can't make a comeback, so it'll be fun. Well, hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you guys next week, because it's going to be a weekly set. Mm -hmm. And see you guys in the next one. Pass, Pass turn. turn.